Oh. Hey, buddies. Hey, daddy. You want to... That's more action I've had in a whole lifetime right there. You want to hold my selfie pole? That's Mm. That's what she's saying. Hello um, everyone, and welcome to Johnny Natrium's Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto 5, and of uh, Holy Payday shit. 2. Is that what it's called? Payday, that bank robbing game? Is it? I don't know. It's it's not this game, but... Okay. Ooh, why'd you have to do that? That was a bit too far. He could have killed him. That's what she said, by the way. Uh, is that went a bit it, too far? Not, not. Oh, nice. okay. It looks like he was shot in the head, but I think like a guy like hits him in the head with a gun. Yeah. Why is he already? Blow each other in there. What's he doing? <laughs> what do you mean? What's he doing? <laughs> Johnson, what's he doing? Give me a sit rep. Uh, he's aiming a gun doing? at you, sir. <laughs> What are these guys I'm doing in the bank the with Bella Clavis? <sighs> I'm gonna guns? phone it in. You know, I'm I'm lazy on the job. I'm just phoning it in there. Yeah, that's okay. I don't blame you. How do you like the graphics? You know, I'm I'm playing it. I'm I'm playing at the absolute maximum settings, including um, TXAA, which uh, Nvidia refers to as uh, movie-style anti-aliasing. Oh, because yeah, it's I think, just I think... so. So smooth that uh, uh, you can't tell that it's a game or something. No, it's good. It reminds me of a movie. Not a very good movie, but it's still a movie, probably. Which one? Um, there's a movie called uh, Stolen that stars Nicolas Cage. That's a ripoff of Taken. Taken. It reminds me of that. Yeah. Why? What was what, that? Is he gonna like to double? Me? Is he gonna double cross someone or something? There's enough. For all of us to in- Why'd you do that? Who's he fucking Scooby Doo? <laughs> I saw your face, I'll remember you. Yeah, <laughs> as I take the mask um, off. He was a and white that's guy. possibly the dum- dumbest thing you can do. Like, hey, I'm giving you a reason. Like, I'm giving you no choice but to kill me now by saying, I've seen your face, uh, etc. Who says that? Which guard would do that? Like, I know, right? Hey, I've Why seen your you... face. If you want to get away, you gotta kill me. <laughs> I don't understand though. Like, even if he did see his face, like, yeah, he, why he's would you much say? The most... No, but he's pretty much the mo- most nondescript person ever. Like, if so, a police ask you to identify him, like, look at his short black uh, hair. It's white Jim Norton hair. with uh, with black hair <laughs> or dark brown. I think he's from New York too, actually. So this is this is the PC release of Grand Theft Auto V, by the way. Ah, oh, I don't like those textures. Ah, oh, way too low res. The textures on the door. Yeah. Drop it. So, so how many days ago was this released, actually? How many what? Days ago was this released? Like, um, I think it's released on Wednesday or something. So two, two days, two, three days ago. Yeah, and so I kind of put off, I still I still put <clears> off <throat> playing it because I had a lot of uni stuff to do. Yeah, a lot of real world Let's shit. Go. Look at that fucking icon on the lower right. It looks exactly like Jim Norton. Just look up Jim Norton, <laughs> but like uh, an older, know, a younger Jim Norton. At, because yeah. What? I'm looking at this guy's hair with the bald <laughs> spot. It just even in 2015, you still can't get hair right. I don't think. Oh, you can, unless but it costs a lot of money. Yeah, unless it's like short hair, like, it just doesn't look right. Oh, you mean in games? In games, yeah. Ah, uh, well, I don't think they spent a lot of... Th- the thing is, like, with these bigger games... Yeah. Uh, because the, there's so much and there's so large and so much environment and everything. They yeah. spent... They spend less uh, time and sort of graphical power on... Super small details. It's like because they oh, yeah, spend no. a, it's more about the entirety of the environment. I can, I can By the way, them, this, I, there should be. Oh, I thought he was dead, so I started reloading. Actually, so far it's very easy, the shooting. Like, why haven't they killed me yet? I'm like just walking right out in the open. Well, I suppose it is a tutorial level, basically. That's true. About I wonder if this is like more difficult 
on uh, consoles because the aiming is annoying with, uh, <clears throat> you know, with the old uh, analog sticks. Yeah. What took you so long? Shut the fuck up and drive. Wow, he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what took you so long? You Shut the yeah, fuck up. You mad? That, that guy looks like Jake the Snake Roberts, and the other guy looks like Mr. Perfect. Are they fucking Snake wrestlers? Yeah, they are, yeah. Well... Seriously, he looks just like Jake the Snake Roberts. So that's why I have him. you on... Uh, oh, because he looks like a redneck, and all wrestlers are rednecks. <laughs> Not all of them. No. They, they are... Not the Probably Iron Sheik. The Iron Sheik, no, but... Ooh. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! That's the wrestling thing, too. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I love that seamless transition into driving the car. That was who does that thing. again? There's someone who does that thing in wrestling. Like, whoa! Ric Flair. Yeah, Ric Flair, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to Ron and Fez, so I now know more about wrestling than uh, I ever used to. Yeah, and you, you never have watched a single match. He's telling you the shit. Oh, well, I've watched, like, the first two minutes of a few, and... It was so awful that I just couldn't <laughs> keep watching. It was just oh, embarrassing. Yeah. Especially the newer matches yeah, where, right. like, it's just embarrassing to even see the, uh, the, 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 these new guys who have no show about them at all. They're just yeah. a bunch of nameless looking people. <laughs> okay. Says someone what? who well, yeah, I mean, if you if you watched from week to week, you know. But look, what's hap what's happening? Yeah, but now? like this random yeah. Asian dude who just looks a bit pudgy and oh, oh, Mr. Perfect got killed, both in real life and in the game. How dumb is this? Who says he wouldn't get? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you do that? Oh, there's a sniper and someone just got taken down. Let's stand over the dead body. <laughs> When enemies do that in game, like they just stand over a dead body of someone you just shot, they call it bad AI. Uh, I have a but question. Now apparently, huh? I was, I was just go. I was gonna say I have a question. Like, you know how you can change characters in this game when you when you feel like it, right? I think so. Well, you, you had to before. You had to before. Um, yeah, but that wasn't if you, if when playing... I felt like it. That was just. Oh, that right. was at a pre-scripted so, moment. Well, could could you do it out of the pre-scripted moment as well? I'm not sure. We'll find out. I think you can once you're in like open world, but when you're in missions, you probably yeah. can't. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say like if you change it as like if you play as like another character uh, before you start. Uh, uh, the... Why is she doing that? I was gonna say before you start the driving Sorry. scene, if you play as another character, like do other characters die in that opening sequence, or is it always the same character? I don't know. Uh, in in the opening sequence, it's definitely in that one, always the in that same one. Just there. one. Yeah, but you know, you know that was all pre-scripted, right? I had to. Yeah, I know, the I character. know. But like, is there a different like animation if you play as another character, like in that? Scene but you can't you choose get... that. You literally. Can't oh, you choose can't. Oh, okay. All right. Like well, when I, I switched characters, that yeah. was because the game was telling me to. Yeah. Oh, okay. So but you can't do it. You haven't citizen. unlocked the ability to. Do, do it no, I don't think you can do it during missions. That's the thing, like, the missions aren't open at all from what I've seen. Uh, it's it's all, like, handheld and, like, pre-scripted stuff and all that. Like, once you're in a mission, it'll say, like, you know, you're doing a heist and then, oh, this scripted event is happening, so now you can switch to this other character and do his thing. So there's nothing yeah. really free about it. But when, once you're in the open world, you can be like, ah, oh, now I want to do okay, missions no. from this guy, so and I'll switch to him, you know. To oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Grand Theft Auto 5. That's right. You know, the 5 made me think it was v Vegas first. It was going to be like <laughs> in Vegas. You know, it's funny that they, they have the um, Roman numeral, but then they put like the word 5 over it in case people can't actually read. Oh, look at this. See, this shows the thing of uh, the first uh, 10 minutes or something that I played before. Yeah. To test out the frame rate and set up all the uh, graphical Your son, options. James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? 
He looks just like Max That's Payne in kid. Max Payne 3. Though. No, I was going to say he looks like, um, he the fucking uh, what's suit. his name? No. For, who's that, his what's his name from the Goodfellas? Ray Liotta. Yeah. And jerking off while he plays that fucking game. He is from New That's York. That's our standard for goodness. Mm. No wonder this country's screwed. Yeah. And what about you? What about me? Ugh. Hey. He's that painter guy. But thinner. <laughs> what is it? Vincent Van Gogh. By the time I was no. his age, I'd already been the guy who was twice. on the TV all the time. I robbed banks. Mm -hmm. Painting clowns. Cars, smuggled Stop. dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. Or he's the guy he's from. Michael. They got me right. From ELO. Here. Oh yeah, it does look like Jeff Lynne a bit. Jeff Lynne. A big house and a useless kid, and I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm Ew. living a dream, baby. What a faggot! Why are you going to a therapist? You know they're all complete hacks, right? I think I just did. <laughs> oh, well I. I think that's all we have time for. Literally everyone can do that speak. job. If you're you sort of job? if you're sort of confident. Uh, I well, I could not only do that job, I could actually I do a good job of it rather me. than Don't you, don't you need a degree hacks. to be a therapist? Oh, a of of course you do. Utility is a vital yeah. part of the process. So, so you have to know something then. Well the well Whatever you say, Doc. They only know book psychology, textbook psychology, you know. They only study psychology because they have zero social understanding and power in real life. So they're like, oh, I wish I, you know, understood people because I'm a fucking autist who doesn't know how to deal with them. So let's study psychology so I can feel more powerful. Mm. Uh, but they don't actually have the social instinct. Oh, this music is almost reminiscent of San Andreas. Where is this game set? Is it Liberty City again? No, no, no. Pfft, this? Yeah, I have no trees? idea. Where is this? It's California, baby. LA, I think. Oh. Oh. Hollywood. Same place as GTA uh, San Andreas, I think. Well, wasn't that set in San Andreas? Ooh, that's what happened to Bill Cosby when he finally got booked for those rapes. <laughs> Every Sunday he's out on the street like that. Ooh, never! Oh, don't look around. He's gonna punch no. you in the face and rob you. Man, you when a Actually, yeah. when a black gang hoodlum asks you a question right on the street, yeah. you never answer them. You don't? Get your stupid ass no, because. Damn. He's going to punch you in the face and take your wallet. He didn't punch him in the face and take his wallet? No. So this game is very PC. Ah. <laughs> ah, I care, I get it. No, I'm not saying that 100% they are, are all going to do that. But uh, the chance is too high to risk it. I'm straight, fool. Whatever, homie. He looks like La a black Lyle Taylor, right the fatter one. Boy, me, <laughs> hey! Man, get your that's, ass, that's not nice. Lyle Taylor's already ball. sort of black. Look at him. Looks just like him. Come on. Come on. Oh, so, oh, I like that. I like it how like, it started focusing on one character, but now you're playing as this black guy. Oh, okay. Well, see, but that is all... That's exactly what... Uh, the kind of shit that that pulls in the mass audiences is the sort of and the way that you know the perfect transition from a uh, cutscene to gameplay which is the same thing they did in Max oh, Payne 3 the drop top, huh? they uh they Whatever that's they exactly what reels in no the mass audience like the, ooh the, look at that well look i think i think it's a nice touch okay now of course what it is, but this is literally the main focus of uh, modern day Rockstar, you know, just to make everything look Hollywood and flashy and stuff like that. I mean, that's true. I just, I, I don't know, is, is this, like, this game is like a, a masterpiece, apparently, of, of like, video gaming. But, like, I don't know, well, yeah, are they doing I've, much? I've yet to, uh, to give the verdict on that one, but the thing about GTA is, 
Well, yeah, but people say that Bioshock Infinite is a masterpiece, and that game is literally... is not only not a masterpiece, it is awful. It is absolute shit. Uh, Max Payne 3 as well, uh, which people seem to really like as well for, you know, the same reasons, you know, just the flashy presentation. And... Yeah. Uh, you know, I guess the writing, people tend to like the writing as well, but that's because it's it's all verbosity. Know what I mean? Well, it's, it's a lot of Hollywood writing kind of stuff, isn't it? But, like, it's like... Yeah, just verbose, you know? just It, it has all these flourishes and, like, this sort of melodramatic word usage. But yeah, there's no well, I, actual yeah. substance to it, uh, which in Max Payne 1 and 2, there was. Mm -hmm. So, in Max Payne 3, all of Max Payne's dialogue ends up being sort of weird for both varieties of saying, uh, how did I get into this shit, uh, I don't deserve this, all this self-pitying dramatic bullshit. Yeah. Uh, whereas in Max Payne 1 and 2, he was a fucking hero, you know, he was... He was gritty and he was dark and and depressed, but he didn't act like self-pitying and everything. You know, I just I think the thing about this like about oh, GTA at this point sorry, I'm, is I'm driving with the with the uh, keyboard, so that's oh. why I'm having to get used to this. Well, normally I was saying I, normally I pick up the controller for this. But yeah, go on. I was I was saying before you, I was rudely interrupted. I know. Uh, I think at this point. Um, GTA has moved from that sort of, like, despised and sort of like, oh, don't what? play this game, it's just, it's bad for you what? and rot your mind, that? to, oh. you know, back when GTA 2 and 3 and that kind of thing were coming out, people with, uh, you know, a lot of you criticism. You mean the, to, sort of, the mothers? I mean, yeah, mother, the mothers, the media, whoever. But and I think up, after a while, people realize how fun these games are. And I just think that, basically, you could have whatever story you like, but I, don't as long know as what you, the I think the same people GTA. who disliked the first GTA game still dislike <laughs> it now, right? Because they're oh, yeah, not gamers. But, but GTA was always saying, popular but among something. gamers. But what, what I'm saying, though, is I don't think anyone listens to or cares about what those people think anymore. And I think it's but in the year 2015, nothing uh, You know why anyone. that is? You know why that is? Why? Um, because game the gaming industry has become too big. It's it's a money-making machine now, whereas uh, it used to be pretty niche back in the early yeah, days right. of GTA. And when you're making money, you're pretty much in, you know, when you're corp when you go corporate and you're making a lot of money, you now become invincible to the government or you become friends of the government. So no one can do anything to you if you have enough money. Because that's how America works, you know. Along those lines, I was going to say a similar thing with the gaming uh, community as well. Uh, you know, at, at this point in time, is if you have a very popular franchise, you can do pretty much whatever you like as long as you follow the tropes of the previous games, and people will still buy it what and a love it. Fucking asshole! You know, um, uh, I'm just I'm flipping in the bird. I wanted to. Sh yeah, that's right. And, and, and I'll, I'll bring up an interesting example that I think. Um, in the year 2015 that people still are clamoring for is another, uh, say, a classic Crash Bandicoot game, right? People oh, are boy, dying for another one of those games. If that was released today, people would say how much no, of, would, like, a shitty awful. indie game it is, really, because those games were very basic and... Oh, I mean, well, for, is you it, know, it could when be released today in sort of a... and get sort of a, a new blockbuster overhaul and, and it will be really popular, like the new Thief game. Yeah. But... It would be awful, you know. It would. It would just be again. It would just be flash and and yeah. shit. And and it would just be an an, uh, an insult to the uh, original franchise, which new audiences are never going to pick up because it's not as accessible. Well, you know, it's it's a funny thing actually. Even like, though I, I, I Crash, it doesn't get much more accessible than that. No, exactly. It's, it's basically two actions and a moving in a direction. Um, <laughs> You are a racist oh. neo-Nazi. What? Don't you love? Don't you love uh, stereotypes? Hey, what's up, bro? Who you calling a nigger? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigger. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, 
N word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep Is he a right. Jew? This man right here, he's an international business. If he was a Jew, he'd be a stereotype that Jew. That's the thing about this game. Is I think it just stereotypes uh, like uh, races. He's, not he's Faust, Faustin, he or something from like GTA 4. Wait, wait a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not the fat right one. Here, him? Get him a high. That's a real man's car. <laughs> Is it? I think you are right, Lamar. But look, he's got a tattoo on his neck. Debate. I understand. Wannabe. Money is an issue. Eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best car. I'm, I'm a Jew. Racist. I gotta go. Hey, Sam. I love the Jews. I'm out. I holler at you, homie. I holler at you. Okay, is it gonna transition into you, you can sure control? You yes, enough? yes. Take the wheel. See, like it goes from cutscene of walking dick. behind the guy to you play as walking behind the guy. The Seamless. That's exactly what they did as... But that's the thing, right? That'll get the old that, after a while. The way that goes is... They have one man... who the, Everything, you know, is corporate. So everything is completely... Every person is specialized and sort of a drone. So yeah. there's one guy who just spends all of his time in development doing the transitions from the cutscenes to the gameplay and making that very smooth. And that's a top priority in the development, you know, like making everything look technically smooth and cinematic. Whereas there is no unified sort of vision on the story or uh, or uh, character arcs and, and, and level design and everything. That's all like completely separate from each other. Like, there's one guy who just writes the story and then he just hands up, it out and board? then has nothing to do with it anymore. Yeah. With how it gets oh, presented. Because they write these games as movies oh, these yet, days. Maybe Tanisha called well, that's exactly it, isn't it? Like, this game is basically like watching a movie with Never. gameplay involved in it. Yeah, but the thing that makes, you know, not to uh, completely trash this game... Because at least that's the thing about like what makes Far Cry 3 and 4 really nice too is the open worldness. <clears throat> so that you are free to do a lot of shit in between well, the awful comes, story and stuff. When that comes in, I'm sure it'll be better. But like it, it's funny how I, I'd say the sort of like dialogue and the way things are like, you know, acted out and stuff. You know, in this game, of you know, they're pretty much similar to like GTA Three and that kind of thing that was released like ten, over ten years ago. Yeah, it it definitely has the same writer at least. So maybe maybe that was like a uh, conscious decision to make it seem like in line with those, or maybe that's just the guy's like shortcomings is that he can only write in stereotypes. I wonder. I think the writing is probably done by the same guy, but maybe it's like this thing where some writer just picked up his sort of superficial traits to his writing. Mm. Uh, just like they tried to pick up the writing of Max Payne by making him this gritty character, but all they were able to get from that was, oh, he's this voice actor, oh, and he's depressed. Uh, yeah. They didn't get any of his nuance and his depth and or anything. So they only, so it, a lot of that gets lost in translation. Franklin. But I think, because this boy. feels exactly uh, like the bitch. writing and Get the dialogue in uh, GTA 4. Right, yeah. Uh, so I think it's the same writer. Yeah, but I mean, I'd say but so. But I've it's never just... really been a big fan of the writing in GTA, to be honest. No, nor have I. I I've always felt it to be very simple and stereotyped. Like, it just... The black guys are in the gangs, and they like Oh, the yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that's sort of their, you know, social commentary or something, you know. Like, is it still a social commentary, though? I think it's just played out I think out by this them. game, yeah, this game is, in a lot of ways, a social commentary type game where it's like, you know, this is basically about... Oh, they've got all these fucking... That's, oh, that's a cool car. They've got a lot of those in LA, actually, yeah. Are you uh, there's a great, the there's a great store in, uh, uh, a great uh, classic car store in uh, San Francisco that has shitloads of these types of cars. So that's kind of nice. I don't know what I. That was all. That was a bit unreal. Have you ever been to San Francisco? 
And we going to San... No, of course I haven't. I hate LA. You hate LA? I hate California for the most part. Well, the nature parts of California are nice. Oh, so you'd never go to California? Oh, sure, I'll probably visit sometime. Depends on... You know, if they all of a sudden become even worse, then maybe not. Oh, yes. It's well. just very superficial, you know. It's, that whole, it's the whole bo Botox culture there. Well, I, I have no real um, inkling to go to California. So good. So good. Yeah. Yeah, look, man. Look, we've been working together for about a few months now, right? Which is why I am very You know, see, I could have gone to you possibly you open world there. Are employee of the month. You huh? could have, yeah. Anyway, you had an option to. It wasn't easy but the thing is, yeah, I, me, I think usually the in these games you have to play through the first look, batch of missions to, like, unlock everything. Yeah, and then you can really, and then you can really go to town and stuff like that. Like, sometimes it, it takes a few missions to unlock the stores, um, unlock areas and stuff like that, activities. Repossessing. He's a fucking fraud. A black son. But if I did, I want him to be just like you. No, no, nigga. Whoa. I thought that was actually the guy who he was talking to, like, I'd want him to be just like you. And he was going like, no, no. No, no, nigga. No way. You fucking with me, right? As if he's, he man, talks like. With, man, knock it off, um, man. Real, after all the motherfucking work I put in. Who's man? the guy man, from Saturday Night Fever? Shit, I'm sitting up here trying what to get uh, this Oh, um, uh, yeah, shit, yeah. What's his name? And Grease. Why can't I remember his name all of a sudden? You know what I'm talking about? I take John Travolta. Yeah. No, no, nigga. We just going for it now. See my name at the top of that motherfucker next to it. It needs to say winner. Hey, maybe next month. What? Why do you what is this SpongeBob? I mean, what about today? I, I demand a retry. They're fi today he's uh, he's Squidward, and I'm SpongeBob, and we're Some fighting over who's <laughs> employee <laughs> of the month. Is he in a is gang? That, is that guy Mr. Krabs? Curiously enough, yeah. I did not inquire when he bought the bike. <laughs> we got work to do. Uh, employee of the month. Of the month. Come on. Of the month. Already oh, transition into gameplay again. Oh, it does it now. exactly the same way as uh, in Max Payne 3. Yeah. Hey, you still rolling with that old raggedy ass here? I didn't understand a word of what you just said. <laughs> Something you still, rag, you still roll style with that raggedy ass right here? Maybe it's maybe you saying drive. you still drive that raggedy ass car or something. I think he probably meant something like that. Or maybe he's talking about my girlfriend. What? <laughs> you still that roll with that raggedy <laughs> ass bitch? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough uh, for uh, for uh, uh, blacks in LA to shoot each other. Well, because they still run with raggedy ass bitches. No, no, like when you say that, you still run with that raggedy ass bitch. Hey, don't you talk about my bitch like that. Oh, she ain't a bitch. She a hoe. <laughs> what I don't understand is how this guy can get employee of the month if he does a hit and run and doesn't even exchange insurance details. Uh, because the uh, owner is a fraud as well. Ah. Also, he's, he's saying he's renting out, he's repossessing cars that he's rented out at like huge interest rates. Is what he just said. So. He's making them pay shitloads of money, and then he's fucking just sending people to steal the car from them, pretty much. Ah. But then he's calling it repossessing because, you know, according to him, he didn't pay or something. You know? So, of course, in a game called Grand Theft Auto, the main character works at a car place. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, get it, because that way he's Going got access to, to lots of cars, and it's not unfeasible that he can drive a car. Like, it wasn't the well case in uh, San Andreas, though. Wasn't he what? just some guy from the projects in San Andreas? The projects? Well, you know, the well, I guess he had been in the projects. Ugh, you speak with consumption. <laughs> 
Man, you just tell me motherfuckers about myself. Let's keep it smooth. Man, what, exactly what does that even mean? Uh, blue bump. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Should we end the part? I, why are you asking me? I'm not the guy doing this let's play. Yeah, because I kind of want to check if we've even been recording properly. <laughs> oh, okay, well, fine. Hopefully we have been, and this part will be up on YouTube. But if not, then it will never be a city data flight. Man, ain't this about a bitch? Ain't no motherfucking bike Did you here, see man. those people no walking shit, up nigga. on us? Hola, I did. Hola, SA. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh my god, no, another racist stereotype. Uh, and that's what happens. Vamos. Okay, well, see how this ends in the next part or something. Spoilers, he doesn't die.